I am about to demonstrate how I significantly improved the speed of my old Samsung Galaxy S9 and no I'm not going to suggest downloading an app or optimizing existing apps. We're going to do something that actually works. So grab any Android phone that's been frustrating you with its laggy performance, whether it's a Xiaomi, Samsung or LG device. And you'll also need a data cable and a laptop. First, visit the links provided in the description below and download these necessary files. ADB tools for your operating system, universal Android debloater, and USB drivers. To download ADB tools for your machine, follow the link provided in this video's description or search for SDK platform tools. Click on download, accept the terms and conditions, and proceed with the download. Then visit the link provided in the video's description to download Universal Android Debloater or search for it on Google. Scroll down and click on Assets. For Windows, choose the UEID GUI Windows.exe files and download both of them. This way, if one doesn't work, you can try the other one. But if you're on macOS, choose the files mentioned for macOS. Also, you'll need to download USB drivers for your device from Google only if the upcoming steps don't work for you. Once these files are downloaded, extract the zip files containing EDB files. After extraction, you can delete the zipped file and move the extracted folder to drive C. Once the extracted folder is moved to drive C, pull out the platform tools subfolder from inside it for easy access. Then, from the downloads folder, Move the Android Debloater GUI X files into this Platform Tools folder that we move to Drive C. Now, take your phone and open Settings. Scroll down and click on About Phone, then Software Settings, and then tap on the build number 7 times to enable Developer Settings. Go back to the Settings menu, choose Developer Settings, scroll down, and enable USB Debugging. Now, take your USB cable and laptop to connect it with your phone. Before we dive into the actual process, take a moment to catch your breath and consider joining this channel by subscribing. You can see that my subscriber count is quite low, so I would appreciate it if you could join me by subscribing. Thank you. Now, let's continue. So get back to your PC, go inside the Platform Tools folder, click on the address bar and type CMD. Once the command prompt window is open, type ADB devices. When you press enter, you might see a pop-up on your phone asking for permission, so allow it. You'll then be able to see your serial number on the command prompt window along with a text saying device. If you don't see your device connected here, you'll need to install the Android USB drivers on your machine and then you'll be able to see it connected. Now we're all set to run the Debloater GUI to remove the apps that are running in the background of our device, causing it to slow down and eat up its battery and storage the apps we're going to remove are what we call bloatware. These are simply the apps that come pre-installed from the manufacturer like Samsung apps, Microsoft Suite ETC. They are not essential for Android to work. In fact, they slow down our devices significantly. So what we're doing here is getting rid of all those useless apps, which will essentially make our device much better. If the universal Android Debloater GUI launches successfully, then you're good to go. However, if not, then try again with the other X file we downloaded. Now, in the Universal Android Debloater GUI, you'll see that your device is connected and you'll have many options around it. If you don't see any recommended apps to remove, simply click on All and all the apps on your system will appear. Additionally, you have the option to view lists where you can see specific apps like AOSP, Google Carrier Apps, ETC. If you feel overwhelmed by the tons of random app packages here, install an app from the Play Store called package name viewer on your phone. Using this app, you'll be able to see the package names for all of the apps on your phone, which you can then search for inside the Android Debloater tool to uninstall. Once you've made your selections of the apps you want to remove, simply press uninstall. Once the uninstallation is completed, you'll notice those apps disappear from your phone's menu. Now here's an important thing to remember. Do not remove an app if you're not sure what it does. If you're uncertain about an app's function, Google it to find out more information. You can also search for recommended apps to remove. Remember, the apps you're removing are not gone forever. If you perform a factory reset, they will return. However, until then, you'll experience significantly improved performance on your phone. As a bonus tip, go into the developer settings, scroll down until you see window animation scale. Click on it and lower it to 0.5x. Do the same for transition animation scale and animator duration scale as well. That's it guys. I hope you save storage on your device by following this method 
and you'll see a significant improvement in performance and battery life. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you again next time.